तो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एडिट ऐप एंड वेलकम टू दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन ऑफ ए आर डी स्टार्टिंग टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एनिमल हजबेंड्री एंड पोल्ट्री एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक वी विल कवर अबाउट द ब्रीड्स ऑफ एनिमल तो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द फर्स्ट पार्ट एंड दैट वॉज अबाउट द काउ एंड बफलोज टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द रिमेनिंग लाइफ स्टॉक ओके सो दिस इज योर लेक्चर फोर्टीन ऑफ ए आर डी स्टार्टिंग सीरीज दैट कम एट वन पी एम so let's start our lecture but before that do remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and if you want the pdf go to our telegram channel do join it and the pdf will be uploaded in next 24 hours okay now that is out of the way talking about the lecture as i have told you this is the 14th lecture so today we are here okay on the uh, part 2 of the breeds of animal then we'll talk about the milk and see uh, very few classes are there so i hope you are revising all the classes that we have discussed and all the current affairs we also takes uh, time to time current affairs as you can see from the time table okay now first of all we will discuss about the practice question as we always do so this was the practice question this is which of the following buffalo breed has highest fat percent okay so these were your option and most of the people in the comment section has given the correct answer okay hansa has given the correct answer and dipika has given the correct answer neela has given the correct answer niveda has given the correct answer monika has given the correct answer and uh, raghavi has also given the correct answer and of course your correct answer will be bhadawari that contain 13% of the fat okay body fat is 13% in bhadawari if you haven't discussed this okay these are all the important breeds we have discussed all the important breed what kind of question can be there in the session so you can note it okay uh, a very good afternoon rathod okay madhur you are right and of course satyajit you are right too okay rathod you are right too of course uh, 13 with 13% fat bhadawari is the correct answer okay pradeep very good you have attempt, attempted the question right so now let's move to the today's question so today we are talking about the remaining breeds so we have discussed the cow and buffalo today we will take a look at the goat and the sheep what are the important breeds what kind of question can be there and in the end we will discuss some practice question too okay so first of all discussing about the pyq previous year question that appeared in uh, 2020 phase 1 the question was which of the following sheep breeds is the most suitable to produce finest carpet wool in the india your option are barabari bidal jamnabari chokla or none of the above so if anybody know the answer can attempt it right here but if you don't know again i, I won't answer it right now but you can do it okay uh, you have no such restriction so uh, after that we will discuss the particularly the breeds you will know what are the speciality of the breed and you will be able to answer it okay so now let's move to today's class so first of all we will talk uh, talk about the breed goat goats okay so somebody can anybody tell me if you are talking about the male goats what are male goats called that are capable to you know produce offspring or are called uh, that can breed so what are what is the term that used for such goat so if you know you can answer it right now uh okay uh, so i i see most of you have attempted the pyq but right now the question is if we talk about goat specially so what uh, is the term that used for male that are capable of breeding so try to attempt the answer there this is quite easy buck mulch buck okay so most of you are correct that is buck okay so the term that used for the male goat that can breed is buck is there any term for females do let me know for females hum kya use karte hain do let me know the term for the females too okay uh so seems like nobody know. okay dose okay so most of you very good most of you are correct sindhu correct rathod correct satyajit correct suraj correct okay uh, yashodhar correct sindhu correct very good again so most of you have correct the correct answer is either doe or nanny so both are the correct term 
see simple question there was one question in the pyq uh, i haven't mentioned it because it's quite easy i think most of you can attempt but there was a question that what we, do we call the goat which can breed okay male goat that can breed so the term was uh, buck so uh, that is out of the way now we will study about the different breed what is the speciality of those breeds so we will study it all so the three things we will discuss see if we go from goat to goat suppose first of all we will talk about goat then we will talk about where they come from special properties and then you will uh, study about specific part ki bhai body mein kya hai uske face mein kya hai paw mein kya hai pooch mein kya hai so that will take a long time okay you won't be able to cover it till before your exam will be there so what we will do we will focus on the examination and we will cover first of all we will talk about the breed then we will talk about the origin then we will talk about the feature in feature what we will discuss if there is a special property in goat and if uh, there is another name that is some some goat is also known as so we will also discuss it also we will uh, discuss about the purpose if it is important and if it is clearly uh, you know defined in so that will be our uh, strategy for the breeds of the goats and also for the sheep uh, that you will see so talking about the breed of goats first of all we will talk about the indigenous breed or indigenous that means that uh, come from or their origin is some uh, indian continent right okay so talking about this first of all let discuss about the jamuna bari so jamuna bari as the name suggests jamuna ke par se so jamuna ke par that mean from the state of uttar pradesh okay talking about the feature so feature are first of all it is dual purpose it, so, it means agar hum jamuna bari जमुना uh, पारी पाल रहे हैं सो आर पर्पज विल बी टू बोथ गेट द मिल्क एंड द मीट ओके टॉकिंग अबाउट द लिटिल फीचर सो आई थिंक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन दैन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कैटल्स स्पेशली काउ सो इन केस ऑफ गिर काउ द फीचर्स वर आस्ट so if the features are very important and uh, very specific to the goat then we will discuss it but if the feature are found in the other goat especially uh, you, you will see that i haven't added there is beard in some males so why i haven't added it because this is uh, not specific for a single species or a single breed okay that will be found in many breeds that that's why i have uh, you know uh, removed it so talking about its feature that is pendulated curve long ear and roman nose see its face seems like a different okay so this is like typical goat we used to see something like this and this but see the uh, nose is a little different so that nose is called as roman nose and that is found in the jamuna pari okay now talking about the next are barbary so barbary is from somali africa and dual purpose again this goat is dual purpose milk and meat and city goat this is called city goat why this is called city goat see unlike other goats that can be openly uh, you know cultured this go goat needs stalls okay this goat need stalls so since this barbary goat need proper stalls and proper caring and a little kaise kehenge hum ki thode se high standards chahiye hote hain isko so that's why we called it city goat okay it's not too hardy talking about the black bengal naam se pata chala bengal so it came from western bengal again this is particularly breed okay why this is the purpose purpose is the meat animal okay milk capacity is not too good for the uh, bang, uh, black bengal so if you are culturing it or you are uh, you know keeping the animal your purpose won't be to get as much as milk as you can your purpose will be to you know breed it or to keep it for the meat again prolific breeder it means it give good amount of kids okay good amount of kids that is baby goat okay jo the uh, goat ke bachche honge that we will call the kids so uh, good amount of kidding is there in the black bengal talking about the betal again come from the punjab dual purpose hai milk and meat and tanning industry mein it is also used black bengal is also used but betal is more preferred okay so now that is out of the way okay uh, now that is out of the way uh, let discuss the other breed so everything is clear from there i don't think there is much to you know remember discuss here what you'll have to do you'll have to remember it there is no shortcut there but uh, again i have you know summarize all the points so that it become easy to remember so that is done for you okay uh, now let discuss to the next slide and discuss the other breed so first of all we'll talk about marwadi naam se pata chala marwadi from rajasthan and this is also the dual purpose breed what special about this see the horns in the other breeds either they are absent they are a little turned but in the marwadi breed they are uplifted see see the jaise hum movies mein dekhte hain na so that kind of uh, horns are there in the marwadi okay so this is a uh, special 
the feature and again dual purpose breed is there talking about jakhana that is from rajasthan dual purpose breed again this is also used in the tanning industry okay moving to sirohi come from gujarat and rajasthan dual purpose breed is there typically patches are present see special feature is there in sirohi patches are present talking about osmanavadi found in maharashtra main purpose is breed Uh, you know when there is absence of other breeds people can also cultivate it for the milk production but main purpose with osmanabadi becomes the milk or oh, sorry mead breeders okay and this is also called farmers true breed now why this is called farmers true breed see this osmanabadi is known to give early returns ओके okay, हमें उस्मानाबादी के साथ क्या मिलते हैं जल्दी रिटर्न्स मिलते हैं इट मींस इन फ्यू मंथ्स यू विल गेट द रिटर्न कंपेयरिंग इट टू द अदर ब्रीड्स दैट्स व्हाई दिस इज आल्सो कॉल्ड फार्मर्स ट्रू ब्रीड ओके दिस इज फ्रेंड ऑफ फार्मर्स नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट द मालाबारी इट कम्स फ्रॉम केरला दिस इज अगेन ड्यूल पर्पल ब्रीड वन थिंग यू विल हैव टू नो दिस इज आल्सो नोन एज तेला चेरी ओके so everything clear from there again you'll have to memorize it so uh, if there is something to understand that i have told you why this is called true farmer breed so that was all and tanning industry i think uh, use of skin in the leather will be the tanning industry for those of you who don't know there is not much okay uh, so this was your indigenous breed okay now we will talk about the other exotic breed out the crosses so first of all let discuss about the anglo nubian nubian so talking about the anglo nubian its origin first of all hamari jamuna pari that we have studied this one so jamuna pari will be used first and it will be crossed with who egyptian nubians so this was done by you know uh, in 1909 i think it was done by the britishers so again this breed was you know again then uh, you know transported to australia to other part of the world too but first of all it was done in the india then talking about the uh, this is also called jersey cow of the goat now you thinking that if you are saying it cow it means it milk capacity will be very good but no you will be wrong the milk capacity itself is not good but the fat percent okay fat percent in milk is good so this fat percent of the milk is good so it is something between 3 to 5% okay so that's why we call it uh, jersey cow of the goat goat world okay so i think don't get confused agar milk capacity pe aata hai don't answer ki anglo nubian because we call it jersey cow okay it is called that because of the fat percent that is between 3 to 5% okay talking about the Uh, senin senin come from the switzerland and it is known as the milk queen of the goat now why this will be called milk queen of the goat because it has good milking capacity that you can go so among the four option if question come ki batao kaun si breed has good milk capacity go for senin okay now talking about the alpine the origin is friends and it is a milk breed okay it has horn and a straight profile or and erect ear as you can see most of head down pendulating ear but this one has pointy and upward ears okay so uh, if you don't want to remember it quite okay it's, it's just something you can understand and you uh, interesting fact that you uh, that will help you to study it okay talking about angora now this breed is very interesting because why first of all it come from turkey as you can see so i think most of you if uh, you know find the angora in the field you will get confused with the sheep okay because it seem like the sheep its fur is a little healthy and little heavy so it seem like it's a sheep but angora is a goat okay and this is from turkey produce lustrous fiber known as mohair so mohair agar hame pucha jaye kahan se milta hai so your answer will be angora remember this what is important for your examination this and the terminology that has been given another thing you will have to remember is the cross simple question can be there ki anglo nubian breed is uh, come from cross of what so simple question can be there so what you will have to remember origin of this one and these origin you can also remember but if you can't remember it quite okay you will just have to remember that these are exotic okay these come from outside the indian subcontinent then you will have to remember the terminology these are very important for your nabard examination name and terminology of the breed in what class either it is exotic or is it indigenous if you can remember that much that will be quite okay for your examination okay now let's move to the sheep part so talking about the breed of sheep so how we will study about it so first of all we will discuss about the indigenous sheep and talking about the indigenous 
शीव आर शीव विल बी यू नो क्लासिफाइड इन दी ईस्ट वेस्ट नॉर्थ साउथ एंड द नॉर्थन वन विल बी कॉल्ड द हिमालयन ब्रीड सो दिस वन इज डन ऑन द इन द बेसिस ऑफ द ओरिजिन की रफली कौन से एग्रोक्लाइमेटिक जोन से आते हैं दैट्स हाउ वी हैव क्लासिफाइड इट ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द हिमालयन ब्रीड देर आर थ्री शीव दैट कम फ्रॉम द हिमालयन रीजन ऑफ इंडिया दीज आर गद्दी रामपुर बुशेर एंड भाकरवाल then again these all are the native of uh, jammu kashmir okay basically himalayan state you can go with if the jammu kashmir is not there but himalayan state if uh, represented in the native species you can go with that now what is important from this particular part again first of all go for the breed if the breed is indigenous or not then you will have to remember the quality now when we are talking about the sheep the important thing you will or the terminology you will see that first of all we will talk about the coats okay we will talk about the uh sorry we will talk about the coarse fleece okay then we will also talk about the fine fleece then we will talk about uh, carpet quality wool okay then we will also talk about the fine quality wool the fine quality or fine fleece same thing then there is meat so these are the purposes okay once we have you know classify the uh, organism or the sheep breed according to the area that they are uh, they are originated from but they can also be classified based on the purpose so first of all talking about the coarse fleece so first of all when we are talking about the fleece so i think most of you know ki hame wool milta hai usse okay and kya milta hai meat milta hai so that meat is quite clear ओके नाउ मूविंग टू द वुल सी आपके वुल जो आपको मिलेंगे फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर ब्रीड्स ऑफ सीड दे कैन बी ऑफ टू टाइप कौन कौन से टाइप के होंगे फर्स्ट होगा कोर्स कोर्स मतलब हार्ड वुल ठीक है बहुत फाइन नहीं होगा उसको यूज करना थोड़ा सा डिफिकल्ट होगा देन देर विल बी फाइन वुल्फ इट मीन्स क्वाइट स्लिम लेयर्स विल बी देर सो दिस इज ए दिस इज यू नो कोर्स वुल इट इट विल बी अ लिटिल कर्ली एंड अ लिटिल डायमीटर विल बी मोर इफ फाइन वुल्ड वी टॉक अबाउट दिस विल बी द फाइन वुल सो डिफरेंस इज क्वाइट क्लियर आई थिंक दिस इज कोर्स दिस इज यू नो फाइन वुल सो वट वी डू सी वेन वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग द कार्पेट आपने सुना होगा कि कश्मीरी कार्पेट्स आर वेरी यू नो फेमस ओके सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द कार्पेट्स सो दीज आर मेड फ्रॉम द कोर्स वुल और कोर्स फ्लीस ओके फ्लीस हम शीप से लेंगे उसके बाद उसको वुल में कन्वर्ट करेंगे आफ्टर प्रोसेसिंग सो दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन फ्लीस एंड वुल देन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट कोर्स कोर्स विल हेल्प यू टू मेक कार्पेट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट फाइन आपके फाइन से गार्मेंट बनेंगे इट मीन्स शॉल जैसे आपने सुने होंगे ग्लव स्वेटर सो दैट ऑल विल बी मेड फ्रॉम फाइन क्वालिटी वुल तो दिस डिफरेंस यू विल सी यू विल सी डिफरेंट टर्मिनोलॉजी फाइन क्वालिटी कार्पेट क्वालिटी कार्पेट फ्लीस सो दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी यू विल कीप सींग एंड आई थिंक आई हैव क्लियर कि डिफरेंस क्या होगा सब में इफ एनी बडी हैज यू नो एनी डिफिकल्टी टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी डू आस में बिकॉज वंस वी स्टार्टेड इट यू विल सी दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी विल बी रिपीटेड अगेन एंड अगेन सो डू लेट मी नो इफ एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर इट इज नॉट क्लियर यू कैन जस्ट आंसर राइट नाउ सो दैट वी कैन मूव मूव अहेड ओके so please do let me know in the comments so we will study i think terminology i have talked about is fine then coarse okay then we will study about the carpet wool and one thing will be meat okay uh madhur sir clear please students do let me know all fine ragvi sir uh, so that i can move ki sabko clear ho jaye uh, because once you know we started it rhythm toot jayegi uh, if we started and somebody asks ki ye terminology kya hoti hai so that will disturb us okay uh, preeti said uh, explain it one more time so preeti what happens see jo hamare sheep hain they are of two types or they are of one type of suppose the sheep is there so you can get two things from them once you will get meat the other thing you can get is fleece or This fleece will be processed into wool. आपको रफ रफ सा धागा मिला जो आपको शीप की बॉडी में यूजली दिखता है सो वट यू डू उसने आपने उसको थोड़ा सा प्रोसेस किया यू क्लीन डेट यू वो विट यू प्रिपेयर इट इन टू द वुल ओके नाउ दिस वुल कैन बी ऑफ टू टाइप आज इधर ये कोर्स हो सकता है और ये फाइन हो सकता है कोर्स मतलब वो टच करने में हार्ड होगा ओके 
तो जैसे आप अपनी कार्पेट को टच करते हैं सो दैट इज अटल रफ रफ सो दैट इज योर कोट एंड फाइन मीन्स पाशवीना शॉल आपने सुना होगा दैट इज क्वाइट फाइन सो दैट क्वालिटी इज फाइन वुल सो ये जो आपकी फाइन वुल होंगे लंबे होंगे एंड स्मूथ होंगे जो आपकी कोर्स क्वालिटी की वुल्स होगी वो छोटी होगी यूजली स्टैंड उसके छोटे होंगे एंड दैट इज दैट बी क्वाइट हार्ड टू हैंडल सो इसीलिए हम आपकी जो कोर्स क्वालिटी का वुल है वो यूज करते हैं टू मेक कार्पेट एंड जो आपकी फाइन क्वालिटी का वुल है दैट इज यूज टू मेक गार्मेंट्स Uh, now Preeti, clear. Do let me know, please, if everything is clear. If confusion persists, do let me know right now, so we can move. Okay. Uh, so explain said that the audio. There is some problem with audio. Uh, please do let me know if the audio is clear in the comment too. So I'll see uh, where the problem lies. Uh, please do let me know if audio is clear. Am I audible? And please, uh, somebody write in the chat that the audio is fine. Uh, so that explain will know that audio is uh, correct from my end, and there might be some problem in the. Uh... Okay, explain. I think this is very clear uh, that my, at my end the audio is clear. okay uh, thank you so much uh, to let me know so now i we can move okay so uh, another thing that i have forgot to tell you that ki there are some terms so we have talked about the males and females in goat now talking about the males and females in sheep so what is the terminology for males in sheep or females in sheep do let me know please if anybody know ओके एक्सप्लेन थैंक यू सो मच ही सेट्स के एम ऑडियबल सो द क्वेश्चन इज शीप में इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डू लेट मी नो कि मेल्स को क्या बोलते हैं टर्मिनोलॉजी यूज फॉर द मेल्स इन द शीप एंड द फीमेल्स ऑफ द शीप डू राइट इन द कमेंट इफ एनीबडी नो बी क्विक ओके अदरवाइज आई एक्सप्लेन इट एंड यू विल मिस द चांस ऑफ यू नो एक्सप्लेन योर सेल्फ so when we talk about the males the males are called ram r a m okay and when we talk about females females are e so e w e so these are the terminology that used for the uh, males and females when we are talking about the sheep okay rathod has given the correct answer madhur has given the correct answer satyajit has given the correct answer very good so uh, for those of you who don't know this is quite easy see ek bar aapne terminology dekh li question aa gaya now you will be able to answer it so now everything every uh, you know prerequisite has been clear now let's move to the breeds of the sheep so first of all we'll talk about the himalayan breed uh, so himalayan breeds are gaddi okay rampur bushehr and barak uh, bhakarwal so these are natives of jammu kashmir first talking about the gaddi see fine quality fleece will be there it means used to make a garments then talking about the rampur bushehr it will be medium quality now what is this medium quality see between the carpet and fine it is not so much fine okay and it is not so much coarse to make carpet so you can use it either way okay so this is the fine medium quality wool that will be uh, coming from rampur bushehr now talking about bhakarwal this is the again fine quality wool and the important thing that you will have to remember is the wool that is collected from bhakarwal is called loi ओके डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन कैन बी देयर कि लोई किससे लोई का सोर्स कौन सी ब्रीड है सो यू विल हैव फाइव क्वेश्चन एनी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द शीप द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी भाकर वाल ओके गाइस डू नोट इट देन टॉकिंग अबाउट टॉकिंग अबाउट द वेस्टर्न ब्रीड्स ओके द ब्रीड्स ऑफ द शीप दैट कम फ्रॉम द वेस्टर्न रीजन ऑफ इंडिया सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दैट इज रोहित दैट कम फ्रॉम द पाकिस्तान अगेन इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट देन कार्पेट क्वालिटी वोल इज देयर एंड ऑल्सो यूज फॉर मीट देन टॉकिंग अबाउट बीकानेरी नेम से पता चला ऑल्सो गॉड इज गूगल दैट इज फ्रॉम राजस्थान बेस्ट कार्पेट फ्लीज Uh, come from the uh, bikaneri rajasthan breed okay talking about marwadi marwadi again punjab rajasthan said carpet quality fleece is collected here now talking about jaisalmeri comes from rajasthan meat and carpet quality fleece is collected from the jaisalmeri talking about malpura okay tonk rajasthan se breed aati hai suitable for the meat and extremely coarse fleece 
नाउ द स्पेशल थिंग दैट यू विल नोटिस कि यूजुअली जो हमारी हिमालयन ब्रीज आ रही है दे हैव सम सम वट फाइन क्वालिटी ऑफ फूड बट जितनी भी हमारी वेस्टर्न रीजन से आ रही है दे ऑल हैव सम वट कोर्स क्वालिटी ऑफ लीव बट देर इज अ स्पेशल डिफरेंस दैट इज द ब्रीड चोकला दैट कम फ्रॉम शेखावती रीजन बट इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज मरीनो ऑफ राजस्थान एंड इन इंडिया इट हैज द फाइनेस्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ वुल ओके सो दैट ब्रीड इज चोकला so now moving to the other breed that are southern breed that, uh, in southern breed we talk about deccani nellore and mandya deccani as names is from deccan areas nellore from andhra pradesh and mandya from karnataka okay now talking about deccani this is good for mutton and special thing that you will have to remember this is very important pure black coarse bull comes from the southern deccani breed okay talking about nellore this is the meat breed and mandya comes from karnataka it is also meat type of breed quite easy easy to understand one thing that is very important for your nabard examination is pure black coarse bull come from deccani talking about eastern region of india shahabadi come from muzaffarnagar up coarse fleece is found and we talk about hisadil this is again very important because this is developed in hisar what do we mean by developed developed mean this is the cross between bikaneri eve and merino rams okay do remember it i think everybody is clear on the eves that are female sheep and rams that are male sheep so this is important for an abad examination what you have to remember just even if you can't remember anything just remember that what are the native species of the sheep and what are the remarks you have to remember the name and the remarks that has given if you can can't remember the origin that is quite okay just remember the origin for these two these one and uh, okay this will be fine i think they can you can guess from the name itself okay so if you because it's a developed breed it's a cross that has been developed in hisar so this become important and for your nabard examination okay now let's move to the exotic breed of the sheep so first of all we'll talk about so how we have divided the sheep that are exotic breed of the sheep so these are uh, you know divided according to the purpose so you will see fine wool is there mutton okay or the meat that is uh, come from the breed of the sheep then we will study about the dual purpose then we'll there is a surprise i don't think you know the term or some might know the term so that that will study in the next slide so first of focusing on this particular slide see first of all we'll talk about the fine wool so fine wool there are three varieties and specially focus on merino so i think chokla is known as merino of the rajasthan why because this merino sheep is very important and very famous because it's found all across the world and 80% of the wool that is globally uh, going on that, that is globally in process that is produced from the merino and its crosses so this is that much important variety so fine wool is come from them and spanish merino type so talking about the origin the origin of merino is a spanish okay quite easy and very important please do remember about merino do remember its origin and do remember that 80% of the wool come from this particular species and the cross from of this particular species now talking about rambolt so it is also de descendant of the spanish merino but it is developed in the france now what does this mean don't get confused see what happened the merino species that has been taken to france what they did they crossed it okay uh, particularly selective breeding was done and from this particular selective breeding, breeding this breed was developed they, but where it is developed if the origin is asked we won't say ki spanish origin is origin will be french okay talking about the polworth so polworth lincoln merino you and the merino uh, merino rams you will cross you will get the polworth okay again even if you can't remember anything from here do remember about merino this is very important species for your nabard examination talking about the mutton so mutton first of all uh, the species the breed that has been introduced in india for meat purpose see uh, yes so that what we are doing we are focusing on the species that are very important for nabard examination okay so this uh, particular slides has been prepared in the keeping in such manner in uh, in our mind so that's why some species has not been included because again if we only talk about species that there will be two difficult thing first of all the lecture will be unbearable for you then to remember it so it will take a long time to remember it and i think uh, there is 
syllabus is too much so it will be hard for you to remember so that's why we have particularly chosen the species that are very important for your navad examination particularly okay now talking about the meat dorset species is there so breed see whenever we are talking about the breed purpose so i think we have studied it in the goat lecture too so whenever we go for the meat purpose we need a species that can kill a lot and that has you know that can uh, go or give the uh, babies early in the life cycle so they should have a little time before they give the baby so first of all when we talk about sufolog so this is developed in england so origin is england and for prolific breeders are there so they will give the kids in a smaller time and also good uh, breeders will be good kid numbers will be there then excellent milkers are there okay now talking about the dorset this breed is again prolific breeder and this is hardy in nature what does hardy means कि अगर आपके इन्वायरमेंट में चेंज हो रहा है सो इट कैन विथ स्टैंड इट ओके इसमें ज्यादा ऐसा नहीं है कि थोड़ा सा टेम्परेचर चेंज होते हैं इट फॉल्स इट कोई डिजीज आ गया कोई पेस्ट आ गया सो इट स्टैंड द टेम्परेचर और द क्लाइमेट चेंजेस दैट इज डॉर्सेट ब्रीड ओके इट इज नेटिव टू सदर्न इंग्लैंड एंड इट इज द मोस्ट नेटिव एंड मोस्ट ओल्ड स्पीशीज दैट वॉज डेवलप्ड इन द इंग्लैंड पर्टिकुलरली सो नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट द साउथ डाउन सो दिस अगैन इज फॉर द मीट एंड आई थिंक दिस इज फॉर ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द इंग्लैंड टू ओके नाउ मूविंग टू No, no. Ah, uh, yes, brother. I, I would say, if you are preparing for na, you know, A F O examination, you'll have to go deep. You'll have to cover more than this species. But again, for A F O examination, cover more in the agriculture section, and also the agriculture engineering. So I think if you can cover, you know, in agriculture, horticulture, agronomy, everything, you'll have to cover a little deep. And for agriculture engineering too. Okay. <laughs> no, no, Satyji, ji, don't be like that. If you are talking about A F O. For NABAT examination, this much is quite enough. Uh, again, if you are not sure, quite wide syllabus is there. First of all, focusing on revising and then going a little too far uh, in some of the topics that are very important for your NABAT examination. Now, talking about the other dual purpose, it means both for meat and for bull. So, first of all, we'll talk about the corridel. Corridel was developed in New Zealand, and then there is. One thing you will have to know that this is developed by Lincoln or Lacus Lamb and Merino Ewes. You will have to take. Okay, then talking about the caracol, that is pelt breed. Now, can anybody tell me what is pelt mean? I think somebody or most of you don't know. It is quite easy. So if you don't know, you will study it here and then you won't forget it. Okay, so this was your surprise. Do let me know who knows what pelt is. So. so pelt when we are talking about uh, it comes from the caracol okay caracol breed hai to so pelt ke liye use hoti hai hamari and this is specially used in jammu kashmir area to so iska main distribution hame jammu kashmir mein milta hai so uh, one more hint temperate jo hamara climate hota hai usme zyada zarurat hoti hai okay so do let me know what is pelt okay uh, so ओके पेल्ट क्या होता है सी पेल्ट इज योर फर सो जब आप स्किन एंड फर को साथ में ले रहे हैं तो दैट इज पेल्ट ओके सो आपको पता होगा काफी बार जो uh, हमारे गार्मेंट्स है दैट कम फ्रॉम द रीजन ऑफ जम्मू कश्मीर एंड द कोल्ड एरिया वॉट हैपन दे आर फरी तो दैट फर फर वी टॉक अबाउट दम दैट इज कॉल्ड पेल्ट अगेन जब वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पेल्ट फर और पेल्ट पेल्ट मीन्स फर के साथ साथ अलग ही स्किन विल बी देयर दैट इज विथ विद होल्ड दैट पेल्ट ओके नो प्रॉब्लम सो पेल्ट इज योर फरी यू नो पार्ट ऑफ द स्किन सो यू आर टेकिंग अ लिटिल स्लाइड ऑफ स्किन टू एंड द फर दैट इज योर पेल्ट दैट वी गेट फ्रॉम काराकुल स्पीशीज सो अगेन द स्पीशीज इट सेल्फ काराकुल इज ड्रॉड कंडीशन में इट कैन सर्वाइव वाई इट कैन सर्वाइव बिकॉज इट कैन स्टोर गुड अमाउंट ऑफ फैट Okay, since it can store good amount of fat, it can do good in the drought condition too. Now, the important thing there is the new born caracul sheep pelts are called caracul. So, if you are taking new born sheep pelts, so that is called caracul. And if you are taking from the fetal caracul, that uh, that is called as broad tail pelt. Okay, pelt. ओके राठौर हैज गिवन दी करेक्ट आंसर स्किन प्लस फर काराकुल इफ न्यू बॉर्न काराकुल से हम लोग ले रहे हैं दैट विल बी कॉल्ड काराकुल पेल्ट एंड फीटल काराकुल से हम लोग ले रहे हैं तो दैट विल बी नोन एज ब्रॉड टेल पेल्ट सो दैट वाज अबाउट शीप आई थिंक 
uh, I think that is uh, important for your NABAD examination. Let's cover it all. And if anybody has any doubt, do let me know in the chat section. I'll discuss it. Okay. Um, see, uh, Yashodhan, for AFU exam, what you have to do? First of all, again, you uh, have to native and exotic and cross. Okay. Just for native, just go for, uh, you know, names. A little bit of body features. What about body features for different to the parlena? The important thing is if you are talking about milk, do remember the milk capacity or if you are talking about the meat, meat quality. So if you can remember the AFO will cover uh, it all and that will be important for your AFO examination. Okay. Uh, then again exotic species origin padna padega and milk capacity if we talk about and the meat quality you will have to talk. Cross I think cross you'll have to study and what are the special properties if you can remember that from the breed of everything cow goat sheep so that you know that will be important and enough for your AFO examination so anybody has any other doubt do let me know in the chat section if any general doubt is there since we are done with the uh, chapter so I think first of all we will cover the PYQ then we will take the doubt okay so you will be able to remember and quickly answer the question otherwise <laughs> some of you will forget it okay so talking about the PYQ that we have seen so which of the following sheep breeds is most suitable to produce finest carpet wool in the India so Barbary, Malabari, Jamnapari, Chokla or Betal uh, so now answer this one This is quite easy. We have studied it. Okay. Uh, see, I think everybody now will be able to answer it because I focused on uh, this particular breed and we talked about it was different. It was from the western area and it was different because other were coarse. This one was a fine quality. Okay, Madhura has given the answer. क्या क्या important है sheep and goat में सत्य जी तो as we said ना कि first of all आप divide करो exotic and the indigenous breed and the cross exotic में you will have to remember the name and feature and I think exotic are come so you can go for origin but again origin is up to you कि time है तो पढ़ो नहीं है तो okay you can leave talking about the indigenous breed again name special feature and if there is also known as also known as in anything that is uh, that we have covered in the feature that is important similarly for uh, talking about the sheep you will have to see name if it is exotic or indigenous that you will have to see uh, then you will have to see characteristic in characteristic what you will see ki kis quality ka bull mil raha usse. is it fine or is it coarse or sorry it is is it coarse then you will have to see ki uh, jo hamari breed hai usse hame jo bull mil, meat mil raha hai वो मिल रहा है कि नहीं मिल रहा है कि ड्यूल पर्पस है कि सिर्फ मीट क्वालिटी की है कि सिर्फ वुल क्वालिटी की है सो पर्पस यू विल हैव टू रिमेंबर फिश टाइप ओके मूवी क्रश डोंट वरी वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फिश आफ्टर दिस लेक्चर विल टॉक अबाउट द मिल्क देन वी टॉक अबाउट द फिश ओके सो so uh, okay most of you have Madhur has attempted the correct answer, Harshal has attempted the correct answer, Yashodhan has correct, uh, given the correct answer, Satyajit has given the correct answer, Rathod has given the correct answer, very good uh, and the correct answer is of course your Chokla. Okay do remember this question, it was on in the similar paper it was appeared in two times okay this particular question was repeated in the same examination. Uh, so uh, uh, yes yes if you can remember these all. This will be enough for an award examination, but again, if the pattern is changed or if the award will, you know, increase the difficulty level. So that is a different story, but going by the trend, that will be enough. Okay, uh, now moving to the next question, that is a practice question. So which of the following breed is not a dual breed, dual purpose breed? So your option are Jamunabari, Barbari, Betar, Marwadi or Black Bengal. Quite easy and quite direct. Aapi jitne bhi animal husbandry se question honge, they, all the questions from this particular topic will be direct. Okay. Or the most question will be direct. There is nothing to understand. They won't ask you, ke batao, this is this and why this is done. Okay. Uh, Sabdi, I think it is up to you. If you can remember, go for it. But if you can't, just go for the approx value. Okay. Uh, that is highly unlikely that the value uh, enough will be there. You know, quite close values will be there. So, first of all, go for the uh, 
broad term value don't need to go for the terminology so if it, if there is 2.113 just go for 2.11 okay that will be quite easy uh, okay so madura has given the answer Satyajit, see this animal husbandry is quite, you know, uh, wide topic and in the single examination since we have divided into three parts. Uh, since this particular topic, this is, you know, quite new for NABAD examination. So, there is high chances that question, maybe from the cattle they will skip it and they will give the, uh, you know, cow and buffalo they will skip it and they will give the question from goat and sheep. See, this is uh, again new one. So, go for this and you can see the question. If there are no, you know, low possibilities there, so there will be five questions in low possibility or three questions, let's say. And on the average, there will be five questions. And if Navar say, okay, this question, this particular topic is there, seven questions come, come from this particular topic. Okay. Uh, again, we are talking about phase one and phase two. So this is both important for your both uh, exact phases. So talking about this particular question, Madhura has given the correct answer. Okay. Uh, Shet has given the correct answer. Satyajit has given the correct answer, Rathod has given the correct answer, Puneet has given the correct answer, Harshal has given the correct answer, Konato very good, Movie Crush has given the correct answer and the correct answer is of course Black Bengal, very good. So moving to the next practice question, which of the following breed is known as Telly Cherry? Your option are Bital, Malabari, Black Bengal, Sirohi or Marwari. So also known as, I think again I have told you these are very important so you will have to explain that this is actual name in this. So, uh, answer it. Quite easy question, quite direct question is that. And Nabad is similar, direct question. Jayenge, hai? Again, uh, from this annual husbandry question, make topic is remaining. So, that we will discuss tomorrow. Okay, uh, okay. Madhura has given the correct answer. Rathod given the correct answer. Quick, quick. Okay, uh, right. Quite easy question. And if you can't remember this particular question, go back to the video and check it again. Okay. Very important for an about examination. Just quite easy, quite direct and something that you'll have to memorize rather than understanding. Okay. Satyajit has given the correct answer. Vishal has given the correct answer. Okay. D. No, no, no. Uh, okay. So, most of you has given the correct answer. Some people have given the wrong answer. But don't worry. Just go back. Okay. B it is. And the correct answer is Manavari. Okay. Uh, so, moving to the next question. Pure black coarse wool is obtained from which of the following breed? I think I have emphasized on this particular term and now you have to tell Nerol, Madhya, Dekani, Chokla and Marwadi which will be the correct answer. Uh, quite easy, black coarse. I think coarse now everybody know. Thoda sa rough wool hoga, hard wool hoga. Okay, mainly used for carpet. Okay. Pure black color ka. Baki se hume kya ho raha hai? White mil sakte, brown mil sakte, other color can be obtained. But this particular breed was used to obtain the black color coarse wool. Okay. Okay. So, Puneet has given the answer. Yashodhar has given the answer. Madhura has given the answer. Vishal has attempted the question. Rathod has given the answer. And Movie Karas has given the answer. Correct option. Answer is always Dekni. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Pramod has given the answer. But the correct answer is Dekani. Okay. We are talking about the coarse wool. Our chokla mein aati hai. Finest wool. Okay. Moving to the next question. Hisar Dale is a breed of sheep developed from cross between what? So this question is your homework question that I won't give the answer. I know it's a little difficult. You'll have to remember both ki female and males ki kaun si breed hai. But again attempt it. Okay. And do let me know. Uh, okay, so if anybody has any doubt, now we, since we are uh, up to the homework question, if you have any journal doubt, so uh, now is the time you can ask, okay. <laughs> since most of you have, you know, in between you have asked the doubt, but this will be the time. If there are any journal doubt, do let me know. No, I won't answer it. Even if you attempt the question, I won't answer it. If you want to answer and if you want me to know the answer, do let me know in the... Satyajit, sat is something up to them. Uh, see, there are various topics like horticulture data is there, your agriculture census is there, other data are there, okay, your grain data is there, your other data are there. So, it's up to them ki wo kaun sa pick karte hai, but there can be a good amount of question. 5, 6, you can see ki, uh, stats se aate in ARD and uh, in ESI, you can see different question. I won't answer it. Uh, if anybody want me to read their answer, do let me know that in the comment. Go in the comment section, write the answer there and I will recognize your answer only then. 
okay so uh, so that was it i think most of the queries has been taken care of uh, thank you so much for attending the lecture i hope you will find this lecture useful for your nabard examination okay uh, so this is time to end the lecture if you have any query that is not answered you can write to us or you remember the query you know after the uh, lecture has ended write to us at hello at edutab.co.in and you can also visit our website so thank you so much and have a nice day